We've been showing you some of the ways the culinary innovation team works to increase beef demand. This includes the developments of new beef cuts from underutilized parts of the beef animal. The flat iron steak is an excellent example of one success that was developed as a result of beef checkoff funded research. Now, here's NCBA's Bridget Wasser with a demonstration of cutting techniques that can get additional value out of the chuck eye roll. Now what I'm going to do is, is show you how to make three innovative beef cuts from the chuck eye roll. I'm going to again start on the back end or the rib end of this chuck eye roll to create my first new steak option. Again, we have the same muscles present in the back end of this chuck roll that we do in the front end of the rib roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut three one inch chuck eye, or they're sometimes also called Delmonico steaks, from the back end of this chuck eye roll. The reason that I can only cut three is that the muscles that are present in this back end of the chuck eye roll are just getting their start here anatomically. They are going to continue into the rib eye roll and get bigger as they go back and towards the back of the animal. And so I've only got about three inches of those muscles to work with. It kind of corresponds to where you see this natural tapering in the chuck eye roll. So I can cut three one inch thick steaks and then I'm going to run out of room and uh, have to cut a new different beef item. So I've cut three one inch steaks. Go ahead and put these on a platter. And these we call chuck eye steaks. As I mentioned, they also can be called Delmonico steaks or new Delmonico steaks, particularly if they're being used for food service. Uh, they're great center of the plate items, look a lot like a ribeye steak, perform a lot like a ribeye steak, uh, and they can be grilled or cooked with dry heat cookery. And we get three of those per chuck eye roll. Okay, those are the chuck eye steaks or Delmonico steaks. Now we can only cut three of those because we needed those key muscles to be present in those cuts. So the question becomes, well, what do we do with the rest of this chuck eye roll, the rest of this piece? How do we add value to that? One way that we can do that is by cutting the next two cuts that I want to show you. The next item we can cut from any portion of this chuck eye roll. We call these boneless country style ribs and they're very simple to, to generate. All we do is continue cutting one inch thick steaks or portions. And then I lay those on the table and then I just simply split them in half lengthwise. Doing that generates two boneless country style ribs. I'll continue demonstrating that. Cut a one inch thick steak or portion from the chuck eye roll after you've cut your chuck eye steaks. Lay that one inch portion on the table and split it in half lengthwise. From each one inch portion, we get two boneless country style ribs. And I can continue cutting those really the entire length of this chuck eye roll. A one inch thick portion split in half lengthwise. And these are our boneless country style ribs. They're a great new item, a great innovative way to use what's left of this chuck eye roll once your chuck eye steaks are removed. And these items are a great center of the plate item. They perform very well, but they do need to be braised or cooked in shallow liquid. And then you can apply different flavors to them and even finish those on the grill, but they do need to be braised first. So those are the boneless country style ribs. Now from the, from the other portion or the remaining portion of this chuck eye roll, you also have the option of cutting a roast. We call it a chuck eye roast or even America's beef roast. And you can cut it from any portion that's desired of this whole chuck eye roll and then you can portion it to any size that's desired. Uh, if you're hitting a, trying to hit a particular weight, target weight, you can certainly portion those to the size that's desired. There's an example of a great little um, chuck eye roast or America's beef roast. You can make it larger or smaller as needed. Um, you can also actually tie or net these and make them a really nice round shape and then you could carve slices off of these. So they're pretty versatile and they do work well with the dry rub and then right into the oven. So a good application for this America's beef roast.